in the last episode we created our very first planet we made earth as you can see we're currently sitting in the earth but we did start in the nothingness so if i go ahead and teleport over there wait before i do that let me go ahead and set my new home to be in the center of this building which i did indeed build in between episodes can i change the location of this one uh i don't think i can so i'm gonna delete the home command and i'm gonna do this and make this the new home command right here and there's a witch camping my building right now where is my sword i'm gonna go give it a nice little love tap where are you you little witchy poo i think you're over here there you are stop camping my building you little shit get away go and go to hell so yeah like i said last episode we started the whole mod pack in the void so if i go ahead and do this and teleport to the void and i sent a creeper there on accident I <laughs> whoops yeah we started here which if you know i turn on gravity or turn off gravity real quick as you can see yeah and we made this portal right here we made the earth portal so we you know go ahead and right click that and it's gonna take us right back to where we spawned which is just over there beautiful i also did figure out that this pack does indeed have ulti mine i just didn't have it configured you know what this is actually a good as time as any to go ahead and maybe instead of using a block maybe actually build an actual door a mega lol there we go go ahead and grab six of those easy peasy lemon squeezy bam 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 boom easy and just like that go ahead and put my door on the outside because if you put your door on the inside you're a psychopath there we go beautiful okay so the plan today is one i want to make a campfire but before i can do that let me go ahead and actually organize some of our inventory here go ahead and take all these out take anything that doesn't belong in here for example like the rotten flash and stuff out of here we want this just to be the which i'm calls it chest for elements if you will go ahead and dump all of that give me my temp pad back also i didn't want and collect some wool so we can go ahead and make our very first bed like so easy peasy lemon squeezy three wool and some planks to do the trick go ahead and plant that down also we don't have any light in here right now but we should be able to solve that fairly quickly if we grab some of our stardust that we made last time around give me all this as well should be fairly simple where did i put that stardust it is is in here beautiful the stardust is what we need go ahead and basically shift click this a bunch of times to go ahead and get a bunch of materials like so and then just start dumping them in here easy peasy lemon squeezy just like that and we should get some carbon and that should allow us to go ahead and make our first piece of coal with that said carbon i think yeah you do need your philosopher stone as well which we do have on us beautiful philosopher stone easy peasy our first piece of coal which is then gonna go ahead and make our freaking campfire so campfire is just gonna require some sticks and some logs which thankfully we have some extra of i gotta go and harvest my tree farm as well in just one second there it is and make one of those and one of these also does it stick in the oh my god it does stick in the crafting table oh you're beautiful i love you for that that is awesome well, i don't know why that's not a vanilla feature but whatever go ahead and plant this right in the center of the base and we have to light it of course and then we did make the fire sticks last episode which is pretty nice go ahead and use that and light the campfire oh it doesn't stay lit okay that is good information to know i guess so let's look at the quest book again and let's take a look at what we need to do next i think we need to find mystical petals now here's the question can i make laurel fertilizer please tell me i can make this i can but it's gonna need some bone meal and some sort of die which thankfully i have a bunch of seeds this is also 119 so we can also make as many bone meal pieces as we want because we have basically infinite seeds oh i got blue flowers nice that's not the flower that i need but i'm pretty sure oh my god we're gonna need some sort of food and i don't know how we're gonna handle that because how do i get water that's a better question how do i get some water okay i don't have a good source of food right now i guess the only food that we really have at this point is oh wait no wait oh too late wait no 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 we're good we're good we're good i have some 
cooked mutton that I can go ahead and make from when I was killing sheep to make our bed. I can go ahead and cook that, I think, here on the campfire. Also, do I get hunger from campfires? That would be interesting, but I don't think so. No, I think I get only regen, which is fine. I mean, we can go ahead and cook up some of our mutton that we got from absolutely destroying some sheep. By the way, we're going to be able to check out the time mechanic really quick. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's going up. Not that much, though, actually. Only seven times? Really? That's really not that fast, honestly. I thought it would be way faster. I lowered my render distance and it kind of went down, I think think as well if you put it into peaceful i'm pretty sure it goes up faster it honestly i'm pretty sure it's limited by your speed of your computer i'm pretty sure which is yeah gonna be quite an issue for me i guess let's go ahead and i should have put the, the rest of that on it's fine i just remembered that we can make water by i believe combining water molecules which we can get from hydrogen and oxygen, but I don't think we can make that yet. The liquefier from alchemistry requires quite a few things, but also I look at my map here for a second. You can kind of see I kind of explored a little bit. I think there's some water around. There's gotta be water around somewhere, right? Cause I was thinking if we can find some water, that would be really OP because of the fact that there is a thing called a wooden bucket. I thought there was, is it made with this? Yeah, there we go. Now I do need one more of those to bring back for a infinite source. That shouldn't be a problem really, honestly, because guess what? We have this. Before I go on my adventure, I do wanna grab some more carbon or some more coal rather just one piece just so i can light up my base a little bit so that way i don't come back to actually have you know zombies inside of my base because that would be really bad i feel if we had zombies in the base so i'm gonna go ahead and make some torches go ahead and light up the base just a little bit i feel feel kind of stupid the reason why i feel kind of stupid is because if you look at the water bucket down here or the water you can go ahead and see if we press u on it i believe we can go ahead and craft h2o yeah we can craft h2o with a wooden bucket to get a wooden bucket filled with water that's a little bit my bad but you know what at the end of the day we did get a few extra things that we're going to be needing later on so that's pretty good for us actually let's go ahead and grab some of our hydrogen really quickly we have 30 hydrogen and we need a little bit of oxygen do we have any yes we have 24 beautiful go ahead and make two of those by putting two hydrogens or four hydrogens down with two oxygens with your philosopher stone go ahead and make water and then craft those two with your two wooden buckets and bam bam boom we have a infinite water source which is going to be very useful to us because we're going to want to go ahead and build ourselves up a nice little farm outside of our base just over here so go ahead and do that like so plant that down i didn't make a hoe but thankfully we have our philosopher's stone so we can go ahead and do that fairly simple and easily like so with our cobble stone make some of that beautiful one two three four one two three four you know same thing on all four sides and then i'll you know, plant all the seeds that we've been gathering to go ahead and get a nice little farm going also don't forget that we have tick acceleration in this pack so that should go ahead and take care of the food issue that we're going to be having throughout the playthrough hopefully not too much though there we go and we should once i figure out what i did with all my seeds god damn it we're freaking low on food again hopefully we'll be able to solve this very soon i wouldn't mind having a few cobblestone walls to go ahead and put around our farm so that way we can go ahead and make it nice and safe for us to go ahead and collect at night time and we need a little bit more cobblestone and once we go ahead and go to sleep we're gonna go ahead and see that hopefully our wheat farm should be fully grown once we get out of bed i'm hoping by the way i have decided that every night when i go to sleep i'm going to put the game into peaceful mode so that way the tick acceleration doesn't mess with the mob ai and slow my game down and just like that it didn't work you know what i bet you i know why it didn't work because the farm isn't lit up 
that's probably why it didn't work i'm going to take these off the wall and let's go ahead and light this farm up i guess make sure that it's able to grow hmm that's actually really sad that this didn't grow while we were sleeping our hearts away that's unfortunate you know what let's go ahead and expand this uh i think this should be fine like so i did go and get a bunch of more cobblestone to go ahead and make more walls and things however we should probably make some more progress okay so i just slept and i didn't realize that that um yeah it's not as um op as i thought it was which is really unfortunate i thought the overclocking thing would be super overpowered that is besides the point though let's go ahead and take a look at quest book and see what we should be doing next i don't really know what i should be doing next and where the hell is my quest book oh it's in my inventory that's why i can't find it okay so we got the campfire which is nice now we do need what looks like to be half quarter slabs i wonder why that is let's make some slabs which we can do really quickly with some of our wood that we have in our inventory let's go ahead and make some of those good old slabby boys there we go and let's see where that leads that's gonna lead down to a composter okay a composter which i believe is gonna give us bone meal for doing seeds right i'm pretty sure that's what that's gonna be used for for our extra seeds yes our bone bone meal now i assume that's gonna be for making the mystical fertilizer down the road which is pretty good we did get clay which they're gonna have us make bricks and things hmm clay shears and some other things interesting make ceramic shears i guess we can do that but we're gonna need to get stone first unless if we can cook clay on a campfire which i believe we can and cook this on a campfire. Let's go ahead and look at the clay shears. I don't know what those are gonna do for us, but sure. Oh, it requires not bricks, it requires normal clay. That's interesting. So how do I cook this? Do I just out? Do I just cook this on the campfire? I would assume so. That's what that's used for maybe? Ah, there we go. And now we got ourselves a nice little ceramic shear pot, which what do I do with that? Shear. How do I make this? Ah, I see. We need two of those ceramic shear pots, which we can go ahead and do that. That should be easy enough to make. Boom. Put that on the campfire to cook while we look at the quest book. And that's gonna have me make a botany pot for for some reason i assume to farm wood or easier it would be my guess here primitive technology chest good and then that's gonna have us make drawers but we don't really need that at the current moment so go ahead and take your two ceramic your two ceramic shear parts and make yourself a ceramic shear which i am a little confused by what we need that for oh it's not gonna trigger because man that's kind of annoying all right there we go i guess we're making another ceramic shear i hate when that does that but you know what it is what it is there we go give me more of those silver coins please i'd greatly appreciate it and it wants us to find any botania petal but didn't i oh the petal not the actual flower flower i do have some purple flowers so i think i can convert that into normal petals yeah beautiful go ahead and give me those two things and i guess we'll make a second ceramic shear for the hell of it i see it wants us to get into botania okay which we're gonna go ahead and need the petal of apothecary so the petal of apothecary hopefully is the default recipe yes it is indeed the default recipe go ahead and grab me one of those purple things we are gonna need a bit of cobblestone slabs but that shouldn't be terrible to make very simple stuff go ahead and get rid of all of this because we don't need it anymore there we go our pet of apothecary right next to our infinite water source that was probably a really bad decision to put that there you know what how about we put it right here that that should be fine right that should be a good spot and then now it wants us to make the pure daisy which is going to require i believe white petals we should be able to make some floral fertilizer if we're lucky we take some of our bone meal we do have some bones that we can go ahead and break down and take some of our dandelions and convert those bad boys right on down into the dandelion yellow die and make that the fertile fertilizer like so for free and thank god our, our room is grass oh look at this look at this oh yeah look at this look at all the 
flowers we're getting hold on let's go ahead and make it a shapeless recipe boom and now we have all the things all the flowers we even got white let's go that's poggers that is so poggers and then we'll go ahead and take this break this down into two parts like so and do your usual thing as always plant them down like so and take your bone meal and grow them up and this is why i think you needed the shears for because the tall flowers actually need the, the shears go ahead and break them down and then now we should be able to take ourselves some water throw down some of that white petal and and use some seeds can i i can do that beautiful get some extra seeds use them to make ourselves a pure daisy like so easy peasy lemon squeezy which i believe we're gonna go ahead and use now to make living wood which is going to be pretty simple i'm gonna do this inside my house for now i think that's fine that's not really gonna be an issue so do something like so easy peasy lemon squeezy and we'll be right back that's converted super fast go ahead and get ourselves some living wood and a mana spreader now how does this work mana spreader a mana spreader is going to require a cosmic ingot and cosmic ingot oh i need cosmic dust well that's not ideal and i used all of our cosmic dust uh oh uh oh spaghetti oh cosmic dust was what again and it doesn't seem to be showing in jei for some reason but if we look over here a what is it called a star we're gonna make a star no wait, that's not how we do this is it how do i get the cosmic dust remain of a dead star right click to discover a new element element i don't remember how i did this let's see right click to dissolve it into a new element i guess yeah i guess we do gotta make a star i'm pretty sure so to make a star we're gonna go ahead and need some hydrogen and we're gonna need some helium or do i not have extra helium i might not have any extra helium just chilling i don't okay well that should be simple enough let me do some of that mm, i don't know how many of these i want eight is that gonna be enough though it should be enough to make what we need with gravity is it the other way around yeah it's the other way around and then that should make four stars which we can go ahead and right click to get cosmic dust okay that's fair why is that so loud all of a sudden we've gotten the cosmic dust now which we need to turn into cosmic ingot so put it in here and light that bad boy with the cosmic ingot we should be able to get some of the spreader stuff by doing this take all that out make our first mana spreader which it's not identifying this so that's weird there we go mana spreader get and then now what does it want us to do it wants us to if we go back to the right page it wants us to do nothing am i seeing that right we are probably gonna want to make an endo flame of some kind Ooh, endo flame how is that gonna work actually maybe it's yeah it might be fed by the which i'm calls it i forget the name of it the the woods we might want to do wood that's why it probably has us farm a bunch of that uh which i'm gonna call it stuff the oh i can't remember the name of it now anyways i want to try and get us the bonsai pot thing and i believe we need a few more bricks for that now how does this work the bonsai or not the bonsai sorry the botany i keep calling it bonsai but it's botany pot and we need five terracotta okay so that means we're gonna need at least five of these that's quite expensive but you know what sure let's go ahead and get that cooked up i just realized that you can't cook clay blocks in the campfire so i don't think the bonsai pot is happening because we don't have a vanilla furnace furnaces are super tricky to get right so if we want furnaces we're gonna need compressed stone which means we're gonna need smooth stone which means we're gonna need a pure daisy to get stone to get oh i see how we're meant to get pure oh i see now okay fair go ahead and turn all of this into the things that we need so i made a living rock on accident by converting smooth stone into like living rock on accident yeah you gotta be very quick with it unfortunately but that should be fine okay so the next goal is to go ahead and get the crucible from reactive the crucible is made by clicking on a cauldron with a scroll of transmutation see the journal okay so we probably can't do this yet because we need a cauldron which requires actually that's actually not bad considering i can make that very easily like that's 
pretty relatively easy to make we just got to get a bit more of that breaking iron which we actually have a fair bit of iron surprisingly okay and just like that we should be able to take our living rock turn it into a mana pool and then turn that with some fe into a cauldron and then the last thing that we need to go ahead and do is make the scroll of transmutation which is probably going to be a little bit harder than that's what i thought so yeah we do still need to get into Britannia, which shouldn't be too terrible. I just had an idea. It goes back to the classic, I believe it was Caveopolis, where it added the different dimensions in between the layers. I want to say that's true, but I'm not entirely sure. That also might have been Stoneblock 3. I don't remember. But I do know that in between the layers in this pack, there's different dimensions. So if we just dig down, I believe the next dimension after this is Purgatory. I want to say there might be... Some some stuff for us down there that we might want to go check out i'm gonna go dig down to purgatory and see if i can find maybe some bone blocks in purgatory okay we're here down at the bottom i'm pretty sure if we keep going down we're eventually gonna hit purgatory maybe i don't know if i have to unlock the quest or not i know that this is a thing i remember this being a thing so i know it's a thing i just don't know how deep down it is we're pretty far down at this point right i don't know how much more deeper i can go i'm pretty sure i'm about to hit bedrock oh you gotta go all the way down to bedrock there it is and we're now in purgatory so that's pretty good so if we run program new new location purgatory that's probably not how you spell that but sure all right i'm pretty sure i'm not supposed to be here right now but hello friend you have things for me does this explode it doesn't look like it explodes which is nice but this is so weird it feels like the nether but it's not the nether okay so you offer okay so silver coins and gravel to get what? that's strange you know what i think i have to go down one or two more layers i think yeah i know that underneath this is like a bunch of which i'm gonna call it oil that's what it's called oil i can't believe i'm here already i'm just trying to find a better way to get bone meal honestly you know what we're going for it screw it oh god yeah this is terrible we gotta basically sit here and do this and vein mine all the sand basically get all the way down to the the bottom layers where there's no freaking sand same thing as last time you're gonna just keep digging down i know that eventually we'll end up in the nether which is where we want to be i believe to go and find bone blocks and just like that we have reached the oil layer of the the purgatory area which is where we're gonna get all of our oil for pneumatic craft later down the road but man i really do want those bone blocks from the nether i guess so if i go ahead and set this here also let me quickly make a small square so that way i can kind of dig out a little area here so that way we don't get trapped in a wall or something silly i don't know if i'm gonna make it honestly because there's a lot to like do you can't can't move when you're in oil it's fine oh god i'm still drowning also why am i not going to the nether i should be going to the nether right now i am slightly disappointed oh that's a mistake oops don't do that i totally forgot that's a thing uh can we do like a mining tunnel i feel like i'm supposed to be going to the nether unless if they've removed that i think they've removed that at this point what the heck i guess we're not going to the nether well that was just a complete waste of time well we got magma blocks so that's cool but man i'm sad i thought i could kind of cheese it that way well there goes that plan of action i mean to be fair since i've been gone it's kind of looked like it's kind of grown a little bit but man i thought i was really about to get away with that i guess i'm not gonna get away with it god damn it that's big sag that is very big sag it's all right though we will deal with it dump all my inventory by the way what can we do with magma blocks by any chance it can give us a few things, but temperature for pneumatic craft, I guess, is the main thing. There's got to be a better and easier way. Can I make, wait a minute, wait, graphite, graphite, can you be made in any cheesy way possible? It doesn't look like it, so I have to go down this route to do it. Graphite dust can be made in a combiner. We don't really want to do that, though. We need the smelter, but we need compressed stone from pneumatic craft, and there's only one really sort of 
way to do a reinforced bricks, reinforced stone, compressed iron down. But I need some way to get stone without, without silk touch, which is going to be silicone dioxide. Won't really help because we need the combiner and stuff. So I just got to get lucky, I assume, and find the flowers that we need. So we need brown, red, and light gray. I don't have brown. I do have red, luckily. And do I have light gray? I do. So the only one I'm missing is brown. And I can't make, I can't make the botany pot either because the botany pot needs terracotta. Oh, I didn't see that recipe. I'm a little sad. I didn't see the, the whatchamacallit recipe, the pure daisy recipe. Okay. So now that we have, excuse me, why did, oh, you know what? Probably because I don't have it on shapeless mode. Yeah. What, huh? What happened there? Anyways, go ahead and take that and grab ourselves our pot wherever our pot is oh potty pot where are you potty potty pot didn't i not just make a pot i feel like i'm going crazy where the hell oh there it is found it there we go go ahead and do that 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 and that our first botany pot i'm gonna put that there you know what hold on no don't put that there uh you know what am i gonna be able to pick this up without any issue yes good let me go ahead and make us a brand new set of double chests like so and put those bad boys right about here we really should make another another pot do i have i do not but do i have enough clay no but i think i can get more clay just down south here south uh down in the little mines over here i think we do have some down here as well yeah look at this big old vein of clay bam oh my god it, it really is a massive vein of clay holy hell that is astounding how much clay how much gravel do we have here quite a bit but not enough not enough i thought there was more clay over here but i guess not i was about to slash home but then i realized oh wait i have a little uh program that we can go ahead and use Boop. and now we're home beautiful dude this temp pad is so good go ahead and convert 20 of these into the clay that we need really easily and simply one two three one two three bam boom and just like that we have a second botany pot like so which we can go ahead and fill with dirt and can i fill with seeds i wonder i don't think so but if we go ahead and grab ourselves some saplings that's not what i wanted now uh some saplings we should be good to go i put you in there like so oh wait if i sleep does that make it grow i don't know if it makes it grow if i sleep that would be so sick if it did i don't know if it does or not i can't tell if that's fully grown it is oh so can i just like repeatedly do this and just like let it grow and then like get out of bed and then like harvest oh my god i can that's interesting so wait how does this work see this thing is this is so slow to get a ton of bone meal from i guess this is why you have multiple but like that's still gonna be really slow get a decent amount of bone meal from yeah that's that's pretty bad i feel if that's like the main way that we have to get bone meal right because it's so inefficient i feel like going out and hunting skeletons would be like 20 times more effective than whatever we just did i mean i guess if you're just using it to grow your your stuff that makes sense but there's just no way you're gonna have us do it that way because that is incredible incredibly slow for what we're trying to do and i still don't think i didn't get i didn't get any brown no i did okay cool now that i have these though like you know what i mean uh, i should probably keep at least one flower of each kind of do like to say the brown but i didn't keep any god damn it it doesn't matter anyway but like oh my god we need a form of bone meal that we can get really easily bone broth withered bone bone blocks that's interesting appetite i don't think we have any appetite forms out of curiosity does this does this make the the things grow i didn't think that this would make the things grow but it was worth the shot but i know it makes these grow here's another question can i farm wait did i make a mistake can i farm these in there i swear to god if i can farm these in there i'm gonna be so upset oh my god i can farm these in here that is so busted it is so busted what the heck i'm so upset because now i gotta go get more like gray freaking flowers now i gotta get more red flowers oh yeah unfortunately guys we're out of time for today's episode so with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding that notification bell become part of the hunter tribe as always guys and i love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye